South Korean President Yoon Sung yeol and Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida met again after their Tokyo summit, this time in Seoul. With this, the long halted back and forth visits have been officially restored as the two countries seek to further mend ties. And among other things, the two also agreed to cooperate on Japan's planned release of Fukushima wastewater, with South Korea to send its delegation for an on site inspection. Oh Soo Young starts us off. Seeking emotional reconciliation, South Korea and Japan are taking their next steps to overcome sensitive sticking points as the neighbors mend fences in the face of various geopolitical and economic challenges. At a joint press conference following their summit in Seoul, President Yoon suk yeol and Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida on Sunday announced key measures to build trust and value-based cooperation. Our two countries are 큰 이익으로 돌아온다는 점을 확인하고 앞으로도 더 높은 차원으로 양국 관계를 발전시켜 나아가는 데 합의했습니다. Building on their March summit in Tokyo, Yoon and Kishida reaffirmed their commitment to strengthening trilateral cooperation with Washington against growing nuclear and missile threats from North Korea. They acknowledged their ongoing efforts to bolster security cooperation, including information sharing on North Korean missiles. The leaders also recognized joint efforts to launch a new economic security dialogue, youth exchange funding and new cultural exchanges, lauding the progress they made in just two months. They pledged to expand programs and scholarships for the future generation, as well as the number of flights between the two countries. The two then touched upon sensitive matters. Yoon and Kishida agreed on a South Korean inspection into the safety of the radioactive wastewater from the Fukushima nuclear plant, separate from the ongoing probe under the International Atomic Energy Agency. This comes amid the South Korean public's concern over Japan's plan to release the treated wastewater into the ocean. Japanese media have reported that a Korean inspection team will head to Fukushima on May 23rd. In another move to grow their value-based relationship, the two leaders also plan to visit a memorial park in Hiroshima this month to honor Korean victims of the atomic bomb in 1945, when Yoon attends the G7 summit there later this month upon Kushida's invitation. Both leaders said they looked forward to deepening their cooperation on broader global issues at the G7 meeting. If you look at the developments in the international community, our bilateral cooperation is essential. At the G7 Hiroshima summit, we will hold a Japan-South Korea-US summit and further deepen our discussions. Marking the first time in 12 years that a Japanese leader has visited Seoul for a summit, Kushida's two-day trip has put the so-called shuttle diplomacy in full swing, reciprocating Yoon's visit to Tokyo in March. It seems there is more shuttling to come as the South Korean president heads to Hiroshima in less than two weeks, where he is also expected to hold a three-way summit with Kushida and Joe Biden. Oh Soo-young, Arirang News.